What about uh, Randy Savage? What were your memories of uh, Randy? Oh he... my gosh, that voice. All right. That voice in his hair, and he loved Miss Elizabeth. Oh my gosh, he loved her so much. So just, I remember how protective, even after they got divorced, and he was still very protective of her. A lot of people we've done interviews with say he was pretty much really protective to the point where he would lock her in a room and, you know, he was really possessive. Did you ever witness any of that? No, that I think that happened when they were married. She told me that happened when right. they were married. Because I knew her when they were divorced, and remember she married the lawyer? Right, right. And then I remember I was down, I flew down to Miami for a wedding. She was with Lex, too, at one point. Yeah, after, after that. Yeah, after, after that. that. Yeah. Right. So she would actually come out and talk to you about her, I guess, past problems with her. Yeah, she or... actually would travel in the car with Steve McMichael, with me and Steve. Wow. Because, you know, then it was cheaper. It was like she'd ride with us, and his car's included on the contract. So, and it was, you know, she was my friend, so right. it was good. Yeah, it was fun. What was it, as far as, like, stories about Randy, was she, like, complaining about the way he'd treat her and how possessive he was, or was she just, like... You know, you know how she's very timid. She would just say a few things about... You know, as in he was jealous and she would be, you know, in the dressing room. But she wouldn't, she'd be very timid when she would talk about it. Right, right. Hmm. She still had, I mean, she, she could tell she was still in love with Randy. Right. Did you uh, realize she had any problems? Because obviously we know what happened to her down the line with, you know, pills and stuff like that. But did you, no, no I'm idea? I don't know <coughs> if I was ignorant to being around that and didn't know it. Being that I was, you know, from the NFL world to that world, right. I never had a clue. Hmm. And it was always, you know, every Monday night, Monday night after the game, the game. <laughs> I'm talking right. like football. <laughs> every Monday night after the show, you know, we'd go into the bar and have some drinks, and it was just normal. She'd have a couple glasses of wine, and All right. Who smartened you up as far as the etiquette, and, and said, you know, maybe took you on the side and said, "This is what you need to do to get over with the other people in the locker room." Probably Miss Elizabeth. She she did okay. Yeah, I think her. Yeah. Would you consider her your mentor in, in the wrestling world as far as female talent goes? Or I think Medusa too. Medusa traveled with us a lot too. Boy, she's tough too. Oh yeah. <laughs> Medusa's tough. <laughs> I know her very well. <laughs> remember when we went on the WCW bike ride? Yes. I remember I bitched about that. I was like, "Oh, Steve, I don't want to go. That's going to be boring. That's going to." I had the best. That was the most fun for all those what, three days going right. to. Um, uh, Sturges. Hog Wild. Yeah. Right. And they taped, oh, it's so fun. I still remember Medusa with her leather on hmm. and her boobs hanging out, bending over this bike, and just guys were about to have a wreck passing her. And, <laughs> and Steve was on his Harley, and I can't believe we didn't have a wreck because he'd go about 100, and I had like a little bitty German oh. hat, helmet on. Right. I thought it was going to protect me. And then I remember he had a gun, and we were out in the... I don't know, somewhere in Colorado where we were, because we, I think we left from there and went down to Denver on the bikes. Right. And then he was just shooting out in the field, driving the bike, like 80 miles an hour, shooting his gun down the, in, out in the field. I don't know if we shot a cow or what. I don't know. <laughs> Sounds like fun. <laughs> what about uh, Ric Flair? What are your memories of uh, your very first angle with the Nature Boy? Oh, my gosh. Boy, you had to be on your toes with him. Right. Because you do not, you, I never knew what he was going to do, if he was going to throw me down and kiss me or what he was going to do. It's like, you boy, you're having to really pay attention. Right. <laughs> but I do, I remember the other day, especially, I remember one time we were in Boston, and we were all having a party in the suite, and, man, he loves to just take his clothes off. That's what I heard. I've he seen does. it. I've actually witnessed it with the sock and everything. Oh, he's like, he's not, and it's so funny because you don't even pay attention to him after. It's like, that's just what he does. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Did he ever hit on you, Rick, at all outside the ring? No. Oh, professional? Yeah. Okay. I remember uh, I heard that Rick said in an interview that Mongo would go to the bar with the boys and drop uh, thousands of dollars like it was nothing. Is that true? And if so, did it ever concern you at all? Well, I think he started doing that when we were going through our divorce. I can tell you what, he wouldn't be doing that before <laughs> we were married. Right. Oh, no, 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 no.